It's a true story chronicled in the new book, Sugar Water. Marianne joining us now with the author, Arshay Cooper. It is such an inspirational book. Arshay Cooper is here with us in studio this morning. Thanks for being on Good Day. Thank you. He's got a couple of appearances. We'll tell you how you can meet him later on because by the end of this interview, you probably will want to. This is your first book it's that my first you wrote. Book. Yeah, that was some undertaking. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you. Getting all your thoughts together for all that, yeah. Yeah, it took about two years off and on to write the book. So tell us what uh, about the team. You joined in 1997. You were part of the first all black rowing team at Manly High School in Chicago, which no doubt sent shockwaves through the sport, even in 1997. Even it doesn't seem like it would be that big a deal. But tell me about that team and what made it so remarkable. I think what made it special is our team specifically were, some of these guys were sons of drug addicts, sons of prostitutes, sons of gang leaders, and we went to one of the worst high schools in the city of Chicago. And um, this guy by the name of Ken Alpart um, came to our school, he was a wealthy guy, and he had this idea of starting an all-black high school rowing team uh, in one of the worst high schools in the city of Chicago. And um, he brought this group together and, you know, taught us how to swim and basically wanted us to conquer our fears of the water because well, we didn't know how to swim. And, um, and he felt that every time we conquer a fear, life gets a lot less scary. Wow. And so, and that was through uh, water sports and rowing was, oh, was our great. way. Did he have trouble finding boys to join the team? Yeah, you know, 10 schools in the west side of Chicago said no. Wow. And they said, this is not for our kids. And uh, luckily, our school said yes. And uh, the first day, they showed up. No one, no one joined. Then the second day, uh, he put a sign up to say, join the crew team, free pizza. Come check it out. <laughs> and then the gym was full of a lot of, a lot of boys. <laughs> <Right>. And, <laughs> and um, you know, and the moment, you know, he explained the sport, the teamwork, exposure, mm -hmm. you get a chance to travel outside the city at almost every race in college visits and we never been anywhere and so with that moment we we was hooked and um, you know and we joined the team we traveled and we became a brotherhood how would the team do the team start off really bad <laughs> Uh, you know, it, I think our first race we ran into a brick wall. Oh, and, oh. Uh, <laughs> our sec, you know, in in crew you have to wear spandex, and we were like, we're not wearing spandex. <laughs> so we sh we would show up at our race with these big basketball shorts on and cut off sleeve shirts and like headbands. In the second and third r race, our shorts get caught onto the seat, oh and, my you know, gosh. and we were losing races. And then um, at some point we took it serious and we started doing really good oh and became one of the strongest teams in the Midwest. So this experience, you went on to do all kinds of things. You went through culinary school, you become a motivational speaker. What was it about crew? Do you think it was the crew that really got you on this path that you're on today? Yeah, yeah you know, I was always a good kid, never got in trouble, but I did not value or know anything about hard work. And uh, one thing about crew is um, it's you up at 5 a.m. in the morning and after school you're working and I learned hard work and I had to learn how to work with others and you have a coxswain in front of the boat I didn't even know I didn't even like listening to people and we had to listen and you had to work in sync with eight other people seven other people on your team for 20 minutes wow. and so I learned the science of team building it's amazing and um, that's what it done for me and the brothers on the team and I know we're just about out of time but super quick question this has feature film written all over it you said there's one coming out Yeah, there's one coming out uh, 2018 who's with, playing you uh, I'm not sure yet, Wah, but the producer is uh, Mark Lisby. Uh, his fir very first movie was Coming to America, as executive producer, and uh, he fell in love with the story, oh, and he believed, uh, you know, the book talks a lot about diversity, and he, he believed there's something that this country needs today, and, and uh, I'm excited about it. Is this what it's going to be called? Is that the name of the film going to be called Sugar Water? Sugar Water for now. We're trying to figure kind of it out. Title. Yeah, okay. working time. We will watch for that in a little over a year. Can, thank you for coming in today. Thank you for if you want to uh, meet our author this, uh, today, here's some information about where you can find R.J. Cooper. Uh, he's going to be uh, uh, talking at the uh, UOP Alumni House in Sacramento and in Stockton. We'll make sure we put that on our website today under Show Info and Today's Day. Thank you very much for Thank coming you in. For Congratulations me. on the book and the film. Thank you. Bethany, back to you. A book and a movie, too cool. I love it.